Hello, good morning. So we're having a breakfast now, and thank you, Amiel Tours. So we are here um, uh, via Amiel Tours and our partner in Egypt, Bright Stop. Good morning. So we're having a breakfast now, and thank you, Amiel Tours. So we are here um, uh, via Amiel Tours and our partner in Egypt, Bright Star. So we're now having a breakfast, we're eating breakfast before we go to Sinai and to Saint Catherine. So yes, so beautiful. Wow. the starting point um, all to, to go up to the Mount Sinai to the mountain Right. Is that what you want to do? 
St. Catherine's Monastery in Sinai Peninsula is believed to ensure the burning bush from which God first revealed Himself to Moses. It also contains a treasure trove of icons and ancient manuscripts. St. Catherine is one of the oldest Christian monasteries in the world and has been the center of monastic life in the southern Sinai. Monks have lived here in the shadow of Mount Sinai almost without interruption since the Byzantine Emperor Justinian built the monastery in the 6th century. An earlier chapel on the site is said to have been erected on St. Helena's Order in 337. Since the location was difficult to protect from marauders, Justinian surrounded the monastery with a high wall of close-fitting granite stones, about 2 meters thick. Most of what can be seen on the site today dates back to the 6th century. The holiest part of St. Catherine's Monastery is the Chapel of the Burning Bush, a small chamber behind the altar of the Basilica. It is often closed to the public and those who enter must remove their shoes, just as Moses did when he approached the Burning Bush. St. Catherine's Monastery also encompasses the Well of Moses, also known as the Well of Jethro, where Moses is said to have met his future wife, Zipporah. And here we have some uh, some paintings here. These paintings here they are showing the story or the life of Moses here. So first here, you remember when Moses was born, his mother got him in a basket? Yeah. And she put the basket in the water of the Nile. Yeah. Who found Moses in the basket? Pharaoh's uh, daughter. Princess, the daughter of the, 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 the daughter of the Pharaoh. She, so here, if you look here, this is the daughter. She's picking up Moses from the water. Here Moses when he's meeting with his father-in-law. And here when he has a part, he had a part with the sugar. This is Moses here holding his garments. Wonderful, very <laughs> This is Saint Katarina in Egypt, Yuri and Yoanda. We had a blessed time visiting the St. Catherine Monastery and it's really life-changing seeing it with your own eyes. Today, there is some debate over what mountain is the historical Mount Sinai. God is not confined to a specific location. If anything, visiting that certain place should remind us how forgiving and merciful the God we worship and serve. 
to give us another set of commandments after the Israelites sinned and violated His laws. Wow, what an awesome God we serve!